guys, I'm, I know I've got a helmet on my head. I know that. But guess what Tammy got? Somebody, some company sent her an electric bike for her to review on her channel. Because, you know, she has all those viewers. Unlike me. But this thing is too cool. I'm getting ready to ride it into town just because it's fun to ride. Now, you don't get much exercise on it. Like, I ride my bike for exercise. But we're going to check this thing out. I'm going to show you all this thing. So, this is a Hokie electric bike that they sent to her. We're going to take a leisurely Sunday afternoon ride. I'm going to ride it into town. Maybe show you all some things in town. So, let's go. When you pedal, it kind of propels you. So it's like one pedal or two pedals and you go fly it. It's like you're sailing. It's like you got a sail. cheating you're cheating and it also has over here a thing right here that I can turn like I'm you know like a motorcycle thing and it just makes you go just go so I'm hoping this thing will get me into town without running out of battery because even though this thing is kind of cool to ride on I don't know how cool this thing would be just to pedal the whole way with no power probably be okay yeah here I have to ride on the road but you know technically you're supposed to ride on the road anyway This thing really goes fast. I mean, I'm going 15 miles an hour. I'll be there in no time. Here comes a boat coming in here. This section right through here is the North River. To the right of me is the Navy base. Kings Bay Navy base, it is a nuclear submarine base. If you kind of pedal at the right speed, you just kind of keep going fast. You don't slow down. Of course, when you stop pedaling, you slow down. Now, when I lived in Dallas, Georgia, there was a uh, bike trail there called the Silver Comet Trail. It was very popular. People come there from all over the place to ride on that trail. And there were a few times where I remember I was riding my bike and I rode it a good bit and I was in pretty good shape. And I mean, they were like, you know, like you went up like real steep hills and stuff there. It wasn't flat like it is down here. And there were a few times that there were women that just passed me that did not look like they should be passing me and they would just smoke me and I would think how in the world and now I think I know how they did it because they were on one of these things probably that makes me feel a lot better about myself than I felt back then I was thinking man they're just in better shape than they look I guess All right, so we're coming into town. Here's the theater on the left. This is also where they have uh, train rides. Like you can ride a little train from here to Kingsland, 
which isn't far, but they have like, you know, little action stuff they do on it. And this is right where my boat ramp is. Apparently something's going on in town today. I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the memo. I actually did a left turn signal there with my hand. I hadn't done that since I was a teenager. This is my bait shop. That I like to go to, one of them. I have a couple. There's only, well, there's, you know, there's three down here. They're all nice. people down here today this is why I don't fish on Sundays and Saturdays water's up we'll ride back up here to the bait shop and talk to James for a minute all right, this is Mr. James. I didn't ask him if I could video him, but I'm a video store, so I just took that as a, it was okay to video it's him. It's quite all right. <laughs> but anyway, this is, this is where all the action happens. This is where I come in, I get my shrimp, and uh, sometimes I'll get fiddler crabs in here and mud minnows. Um, but he's getting it, like back during COVID, it kind of got emptied all out, but he's getting it all stocked back up now. But it's a nice, you know, little local place. Just some little, little stuff you might need if you're gonna go fishing. But the main thing is the live bait. So this is it. This is Buccaneer bait and tackle. So usually when you see me put in down at the ramp where I just went, this is where I go. Now some days he's not open and he's by himself. So some, you know, if anything ever happens, uh, if he ain't here, it ain't open. So, uh, but I usually get my shrimp and stuff here, and then there's a place downtown too. All right, I had to sit there and talk with him about 15 minutes. You got to talk about, you know, it's kind of like going to the barber shop. When you go in a bait shop, you got to talk about all the world's problems and solve them and all that kind of stuff. So, me and James pretty much just solved all the world's problems there in the last 15 minutes. I think the parade, or whatever it is that's going on here, is over. So maybe I can get us on the main road here in a minute or two. Yeah, it's obviously some kind of Halloween thing. All the little kids are dressed up in their outfits. Pirates and such, ghosts, goblins. Duels. Some kind of festival. I may pike, pike, pike my bike. I may pike my bike here. We'll walk around a little bit. Got some food trucks. Some music.
close to the house. I think I'm going to get on it. That'll be it for our little tour today. As far as your part, that is the end of your part. And there's your view of the river and the marsh down here in St. Mary's, Georgia. Another good day. Hope y'all enjoyed this little ride around and uh, Tammy's new bike. It's really good that she'll, you know, hopefully she'll be able to get on this thing and when I go and ride my bike, she'll be able to ride with me and stuff when she has time. So maybe this will work out good for her. Thanks for watching you guys. Have a good day.